It looks like Rockstar Games' official celebration tour is starting and it's all going to culminate in the release of the GTA 6 trailer. So one big thing that I think a lot of people might have glanced over is the whole reason it looks like Rockstar is releasing the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer in early December is because that is when Rockstar is celebrating their 25th anniversary. That happened in December 1998. Well, it looks like the marketing celebration tour part of that is already starting to begin. So I don't know how many of you guys use Spotify. It's an app where you can listen to music, create playlists, listen to podcasts, etc. There has been an official Grand Theft Auto radio station created from all the different GTA titles. In fact, Spotify even says the perfect soundtrack for driving around Vice City, Los Santos, San Fierro, and beyond. 25 years of music from Grand Theft Auto's most iconic stations curated just for you on Spotify now. That's the official post that they just put out. And it looks like Rockstar has a partnership with them. And this could be the lead up to Grand Theft Auto 6. So there is a handful of amazing songs on this playlist from Phil Collins to Kenny Loggins to Elton John, Boston, Pat Benatar, Allison Chains, Motley Crue, Rage Against the Machines, Billy Idol, and more. There's probably some of your most favorite and popular songs on this playlist. So not only should you just check it out for personal reasons, because it'll probably definitely get you in the GTA 6 spirit, but I feel like this is the beginning of Rockstar starting to market for Grand Theft Auto 6. And I guess ultimately the plan is to do 25 years of GTA and Rockstar's anniversary with the Spotify stuff, again, all culminating in the reveal for the new game. And there were early reports that this is something that Rockstar was working on. In fact, we even heard from Rockstar Games Insider Tez Funds to chime in on this because someone was asking, so if Sam Hauser has to go from the UK to the US to check on the progress of the game, exactly how is he involved in production? And he said everything has to go through him. He most likely didn't write the letter himself, but he definitely signed it. Also, I don't believe Sam was there the whole month of October. I believe he only flew there like two weeks ago. I don't think he would be there just to sign off on the letter in the email. So I expect him to sign some advertising plans like billboards for what Rockstar Intel heard for the big reveal in December. And I feel like this is all a part of the big reveal in December. More promotion with massive brands like Spotify, giving a sort of a throwback to Vice City and what's to come. So it really does feel like the marketing period for this game has already begun. And even though there's nothing here that says this is directly GTA 6. You have to feel like this is Rockstar getting the wheels in motion and getting prepped for the Grand Theft Auto 6 cycle. And this is just sort of my speculation. If Rockstar has a good working relationship with Spotify, it'd be cool if they had a Spotify-like app in GTA 6. I know they technically have one in the GTA series. The app is called Zit. You can actually see it in GTA Online's The Contract DLC. So it's safe to say it might actually become an app in Grand Theft Auto 6 where you can listen to music, not necessarily having to be inside of a vehicle. I don't actually think Rockstar would put Spotify in game. That to me sounds like a licensing nightmare, having to deal with all that and the streaming rights. But I could see them adding the Spotify-like parody zit in GTA 6. That would be pretty cool. Now, as we're getting closer and closer to the reveal of the game, let's sort of dive into a development update on where Rockstar stands and how things are going to work once the game actually comes out. So you guys can see right now, Tez Funds 2 was answering a lot of questions about what sort of build the game was in and some of the hints and clues that Rockstar actually put in the leaks, not on purpose, but just things that we can see that kind of tells us how far along the game was. And according to Tez Funds 2, he said, anyways, Grand Theft Auto 6 is in the late alpha stage. The beta stage would be the six to eight month period before release. We can expect the release to be at most two years away, unless a similar event like COVID happens. Let's please not have that occur. The likely release windows are holiday 2024, spring 2025, and fall 2025. And I'm predicting a spring 2025 release window. So I know that seems crazy to think about, but right now the game is still in the late alpha stage. So that means what we saw in the GTA 6 leaks back in September 2022, that would have been way early alpha stage. So don't fret about the GTA 6 graphics or how unfinished or unpolished things look because as of right now and the trailer we're going to be getting, it's going to be footage from late alpha. So even things you see in the trailer 
don't panic. You guys go back to the Grand Theft Auto 4 trailer, GTA 5 trailer, even the early Red Dead Redemption 2 trailers. The games look so much better when they all come out. So do not panic. But that is the stage that the game is currently in. And what happens when the game comes out? A lot of people are talking about DLCs and expansion. As someone said, is single player DLC really that unlikely? I thought reduced base game scope and expansions was one of their anti-crunch measures. With Tez Funds 2 saying, not really when you factor in that a single player DLC was considered for every title since Grand Theft Auto 4, except GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2 were never followed through due to the focus on online and work already starting on the next title. I don't see why Rockstar wouldn't repeat the same pattern with Grand Theft Auto 6 and then decide to cut or follow through, but this time they may do the latter. And it's more of episodic content, aka expansions, than a single player DLC. They can do them yearly or bi-yearly, which would help reduce crunch. So that's the rumor on the street, is that the game might not come necessarily with everything unlocked, and Rockstar might release those things a little bit later on, either once a year or twice a year, so that they can reduce crunch on their employees, something that they were criticized of doing with the release of Red Dead Redemption 2. And what does that mean for getting the game on PC on day one? Well, it's not necessarily good news. TezFunts2 said, Never said it's a certainty, and my own speculation is a day one release as well, nor am I a developer or an employee to know what the current state of the PC build is. However, some developers and employees aren't expecting a day one release. That's just an expectation, and it could very much change between now till release. Similarly, the PC build is reportedly falling behind, hence the expectation. Of course, the developers can close the gap anytime from now till release, but what we know for sure is that assuming the technical state doesn't get better, Rockstar isn't going to crunch just to deliver the PC version on day one. And that should come as no surprise considering that's really been the status quo for Rockstar Games in their titles going all the way back to Grand Theft Auto 4. In fact, Red Dead Redemption still to this day isn't even on PC. PC titles usually come out about six months to a year to 18 months after the console versions. It's just the way Rockstar Games has always done things. So I am extremely excited to see what looks to be the very early beginnings of the marketing period beginning for Grand Theft Auto 6 as Rockstar Games is partnering with Spotify to celebrate their 25th anniversary and all things are culminating that that is going to lead to the reveal of the GTA 6 trailer. I wonder what else Rockstar has up their sleeves. I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. But for now, that is everything we know. Let me know what you think in those comments down below about what Rockstar is doing. Do you feel like there's going to be single player DLC or episodic content and a whole lot more? If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. We've got a lot of cool content here on the channel up until the release of the trailer and beyond. So don't miss out and be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.